Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. I'm Emily and today we're going to be reading one of my favorite books, The Princess and the Pekingese, written by Trisha and Elena Howell. In this story, we learn about the unlikely friendship between two dogs when a new dog comes into the house. Let's all sit down, take a seat, and get ready to read The Princess and the Pekingese. There once was a beautiful princess born into a happy, loving family. Surrounded by people who adored her, Princess Lillian grew up with every privilege. She, served the, she was served the finest foods and went with her family on scenic heights throughout the countryside. Every day she was cuddled and her hair was carefully brushed, and each night she dreamed of glorious adventures as she slept on satin sheets. Life was perfect for the princess until the dog arrived. She could not imagine why her family had acquired such an animal. They already had several cats that stayed outside where they belonged and kept the house, for, uh, kept the house free from rodents. The intruder, a playful Pekingese puppy, bounced endlessly throughout the house, shattering Princess Lillian's perfect life. This unruly creature slept in a bed right next to hers and even enjoyed the same gourmet meals. She bristled whenever the dog was cuddled before she was or its hair was brushed before hers. Even though the princess received just as much attention as before, she no longer felt special. Princess Lillian did everything possible to rid herself of this stupid, slobbering mutt. She kicked it to interrupt its peaceful slumber. She stole its food when her parents weren't looking. She even created little accidents on the oriental looking rug that were blamed on the new rival. But no matter what she did, the puppy seemed to adore her even more. One morning as the Pekingese was once again attempting to kiss her, Princess Lillian prayed for an escape. That afternoon, Princess Lillian got her wish. She was invited to accompany her mother to an exclusive party while the puppy stayed home. The princess wore a magnificent jeweled necklace and an elegant pink silk ribbon in her hair. Princess Lillian was thoroughly enjoying the party when a lady, lady pointed in her direction, exclaiming, What an adorable dog! The princess looked all around, but there was no dog in sight, not even that dreadful Pekingese. Another look, guest looked directly at her and cooed, Such a darling little Yorkie! The princess was puzzled. May I pet your precious doggie? The hostess asked, her hand caressing Lillian's head. As she finally realized the ugly truth, the princess recoiled in shock. It was a nightmare from which she would never recover. She, Princess Lillian, was a dog. Ignoring the frantic cries of her mother, Lillian bolted out the front door and into a thicket of bushes. Emerging onto the city street, Lillian ran wildly for hours. Finally, exhausted, her little legs collapsed as she stumbled into a trashy gutter. She was staring with disdain at the piles of garbage when a whack resounded in her ears. A sharp pain stung her ribs and a drunken voice slurred, Get out of my way, you stupid dog! Shocked into action, Lillian's shaky legs propelled her down a dark alley where she collapsed into a shivering heap. That awful man had accidentally kicked her. How could anyone be so cruel? How could she be a dog? Lillian was lost in these disturbing thoughts when a vicious mongrel lunged toward her, growling and barking as it attacked. Ouch! It bit her leg! Yelping as she hobbled down the sidewalk, Lillian barely managed to escape. After wandering for what seemed like an eternity, Lillian was aroused by the marvelous aromas of an Italian deli. Tired and extremely hungry, she slipped through the door as a customer left. But when she sniffed at the snowcase, her mouth watering and overly sensitive diner shrieked, Get that filthy slobbering mud out of here! Tossed into the alley, Lillian sobbed and sobbed until she found herself surprisingly drawn to the scent of leftovers from an overturned garbage can. 
ashamed at her loss of good manners and exquisite taste, she fought a losing battle to turn away from that disgusting scraps. After eating her fill, Lillian felt alone in the damp, cold darkness. She limped down the alley, and a rope cage fell from the sky, imprisoning her. As she struggled in vain, her heart raced, and everything went black. Lillian regained consciousness in a drab concrete cell. All night long, thoughtless dogs in surrounding cells kept her awake with their obnoxious barking and pitiful whining. By the next morning, Lillian's legs were so stiff and so sore, she could barely move. As her mind raced with worry about her future, she imagined hearing her mother's voice far in the distance. But wait! It wasn't a dream. Lillian collapsed into the warm arms of her mother, tears of joy and relief streaming down their cheeks. When she arrived home, Lillian fate felt ashamed to face the rest of her family. To her surprise, however, they seemed oblivious to her filthy, smelly condition and welcomed her with open arms. Lillian was so happy to be home and to feel everyone's love she lo no longer cared that she was a dog. More than anyone else, the Pekingese seemed ecstatic to see her. Rushing across the room, he kissed all over her dirty little face. And for the rest of time, but not the last, Lillian kissed back. The end. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our story. We'll see you again next week.